In this video, we're going to be looking at queues. And what queues are, are they're a collection of items, all of the same type, where items are added to the tail of the queue and removed from the head. With all terminology aside, queues are just lines. If you stand in a line, you're at the front of the line, which is called the head. And if you're at the end, it's called the tail. In order to get out of the line, you have to be the first person who was in the line. So 19 would be the first remove. Or actually, if 79 were sitting here, 79 would be the first remove. And if you wanted to get onto the line like 66 does, he has to go in and become the tail of the line. Q access stored data in a FIFO manner. That means first in, first out. And we'll talk about that in just a second. And a queue is also an abstract data type. Abstract data type just meaning the way queues work are going to be the same in Java, C++, C, Python, etc. Queues are implemented in a sort of interesting way. They can be implemented different from this, but in terms of this video, we're going to look at them as linked list that realize the queue interface. And the queue interface realizes the collection above it. So as we set up a queue, we have two actions. The first called in queue, or putting someone into the queue. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a someone, as long as it's some element that you're going to put into the data structure. In this case, I just put strings into the queue. Then we add Joe to our queue, add Bobby, and then finally Sally is added to the queue. Now, the reason why they have been put in this queue is to go on the Qrific coaster. So they're going to ride the ride, and they're going to be riding in a BIFO manner, which means first in, first out. So the first person who got in line is going to be the first person to be removed from the line. So that is going to be our head, Sue. We see Sue goes over, and everybody else scoots up one. Then Joe. I want you to notice that this action, instead of in queue, is called DQ. As you remove someone or something from a queue, you are DQing that item. All right, then Bobby goes, and finally Sally is going to go, because she was the last person to enter the line. The queue interface offers several different methods, and many of them actually do the same thing. You can see that add and offer do the exact same thing, but there is a slight difference. Let's say that I had a queue where I was standing in line to see Santa Claus, and Santa Claus had to take a lunch break. So the little elf helper comes up to me and puts a marker behind me saying, no more people can come after you because Santa's going to go on his lunch break. And this would be a different type of queue. This would be a blocking queue. But you can see why one add might be beneficial over offer, or offer might be beneficial over add. And it talks about violating capacity restrictions. Restrictions. You can set a queue to say, oh, I only want this many elements inside of the queue. And if it goes over that, what add is going to do is it's going to throw an illegal state exception. But what offer is going to do is only add it if it's possible to add it. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. Poll is going to remove the last item, but if there are no items left, it's going to return null. Whereas remove will remove an item, but if there are no items left, it will not return null. It will throw an error. Same thing with peak and element. Peak, if there is no head of a queue, it will return null. Whereas element, if there is no head, it will throw an error. So let's look to see how these methods are implemented. What I've done is I've created a basic queue. Notice that it's pointing to a linked list. But when you do this, when you have the interface right here and the class right here, it is going to take away any extra methods that are not included inside of the interface. So linked list does not have all of its capabilities. It only has the capabilities of a queue. And it's going to be an integer queue. Make sure when using a queue that you import both queue from the util package and linked list from the util package. Otherwise, your program will not work. The first thing that I'm going to do is add one to the queue. Notice I use the method offer, then add, offer, then add. Both of them will work just fine, and they can be used pretty much interchangeably. I just want to show you this so if you see either implementation using the method add or using the method offer, you'll know that both are valid. But they do have reasons why to use one or the other. Our queue that's implementing a linked list does not have a problem with capacity. 
The next operation that I want to do is to peek and see what is at the head of the queue, and it should return one, and it does exactly that. Also, you can use system out print line with queues, and just like a stack or an array list, it's going to print with brackets in the front, elements in between, separated by commas, and then a bracket at the end. Now, I want to start taking items off of the stack. I use the method pull, remove, pull, and remove. And both of these do the exact same thing, taking items in a FIFO manner off of the queue. Now, if I was to call pull right now, it would return null. But if I was to try to call remove, it would throw an error because there is nothing left inside of the queue. So you can see the slight difference there. In this last slide, what I want to look at is the difference between peak and element. You can see right now there's nothing inside of the nums queue. And so if I was to try to call peak right now, it would return null. But if I tried to call element, it would return an error, just like remove would throw an error if there wasn't anything inside of the queue. Here's a short table to show the difference between this returns a value and this would throw an exception. So the methods add, remove, and element all would throw an exception for different reasons. Add if it couldn't add an item. Remove if there is no queue. And if you're just trying to examine the head, the element would throw an exception if there is no head. Whereas offer, pull, or peak would not throw an error but tell you I couldn't add it on because there is no element left, I'm going to return null, or if there is no head, I'm going to return null. It's important to remember what queues are. They act like standing in a line for an event. The first item that is brought into the queue is going to be the first item out of that queue. And so the last item in is going to be the last item out. Queues have similar methods to accomplish the same goal of looking at, inserting, and removing items from a queue, but there is a slight difference in what they return and how they act with different queues. The queues that we're going to be looking at are going to be implementing linked list, as this is an effective implementation of queues.